Jamie, are you going, Marin? Hmm. Good stuff, good stuff. Um. Good day, Sally. How are you going? Glad to see you live today. Uh, uh, Jamie, yes, you made it. Good work, good work. Scott Woodrow, thank you so much for tuning in. Hey there, Prosper. Ready for another great lunch session? Well, I just had my um, my cake uh, over there. My wife, my wife. Mm. Best cooker in the world, huh? <laughs> great stuff. Good day, Sally. And uh, Nicole, thank you so much for tuning in. All right. Everybody else, while you're jumping on, I'm so excited about today. I'm so excited that everybody else is here. Um, a lot of stuff is around, is happening around. Uh, first of all, I think it's Melbourne Cup Day today in, um, in Melbourne. So a lot of people have not been working today. It's their day off. But that doesn't mean that... You know, the show must stop. All right. So if this is your first time watching this, I gladly welcome you to this show. My name is Prosper Taruvinga. And I want you to know something. I viscerally believe that every person that's running an online business should be profitable and they should actually enjoy, um, you know, the work that they do. I also believe that if you're running that online business, you should be able to create for and also relate to the people you're going to be demanding money off of. And I also teach a four-step system that is designed to help you, um, you know, start, scale and grow a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable. And I lead a team um, here at Live Long Digital, you know, of experts that will help your business grow essentially through digital marketing strategies. Now I see Jerusha Holder is in the house. And Mija, Magadigo Mija, thank you so much for tuning in. And Linda, Shanside West, thank you so much for tuning in to this live session. Because every single day at 2 p.m. AEST, we sit around here for 30 minutes so that we can discuss ways to help you earn more money with less struggle. We have regulars like Steven Seden that just pop in once in a while and they're doing amazing things, you know, in their own niches there. Once you're done watching this show, I can guarantee you that I can help you, um, you know, generate leads and revenue. And I can also help you work with your branding and PR around the clock. This is what I really want off of you. I want to inspire you to do great things. I want to inspire you to do things that actually inspire you. All right. So if at the end of this video, you got a bit of value, please share it. Let's spread the world, the word around and um, please also share it with at least three people or invite three people to start watching this video because today we're talking about networking. All right. We're talking about networking. You've heard people throwing around buzzwords um, and things like your network is, your, is equivalent to your net worth. Right about now, do you have somebody in your speed dial that you can ring and they can generate leads for you? Please type in the number one if you've got business partners that you can ring up and be like, hey, listen, I just need to fill up my pipeline. Do you have a couple of people that you can bring across to me? Do you have people in your network that viscerally know what's on the latest in, 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 in the market right now? Do you have people in your network that are your mentors? Do you have people in your network that are always out there motivating other people and helping you be, do, and have um, things in your business that will make your business profitable and enjoyable? And Mike James, thank you so much for tuning in. This is the thing that I was talking about. Just put it on the ground and it helps with the sound, all right? All right. So, you know, <clears throat> all this time around your business, you've probably been growing it. You've probably been doing all the things and being busy around it. But have you been growing the network around you in order to make sure that your business thrives? Right about now, a lot of our people, a lot of the people that are watching this show right now, their, vi their, vi their business is not going to last until Friday if they stop working today. Does that make sense? 
a lot of people don't have systems in place, networks in place for them to to continue their business if they don't if they don't if they stop working today by Friday their business was is a has been grand opening grand closing so how do you alleviate yourself from that how do you take away yourself from being so dependent on you personally within your business because it's going to happen that you're going to need a lot of people around you it's going to happen that you're going to need a lot of you know services and some sort of outsourcing in order for you to be do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable you are go- you are not going to make it far in life or in business without the right kind of people around you do you know what i mean as much as we tell ourselves that you know our achievements or whatever our business is we is a result of all our hard work often times you got to be in the right place at the right time and you got to be around people that can launch you into a new phase either for your business for your career or for your life if you were not at that particular place or doing the that particular thing would you have met your spouse would you have met your partner all right most of our partners we would have met them on a day out or we, we because we know other people that know other people that connected us with the people that we now um you know um calling family right now so this is why networking is important it's not just for your business it's for how we live as humans we are brought up to be social beings we need the homoestasis of knowing that we are loved we are followed and we can also follow other people and that's the reason why networking is crucial all right mike says and we must also be the right person to the right perspective and recognize right place and time absolutely just one second absolutely all right You know, you cannot do anything by yourself. I mean, you can, but you won't go far. Business owners like yourself right now, you need strong clients, you need um strong employees, and you need mentors because every level in life has got its own devils. You know what I mean? You can't know everything. Even athletes, they need quality coaches and they actually need quality teammates. Michael Jordan would not have been the best basketballer because there's five other people that are throwing the ball to him or at him for him to um you know um you shoot it off and become the best. Do you know what I mean? So in any domain you're going to need to foster and grow relationships which it's the most important thing and if you don't have people skills don't expect to even make it online. Some people think oh yes I can fix a website and then automate it. Guess what? People don't buy products anymore. People buy stories. People buy connection. That's what people pay money for. Right about now you've got everything that you need, but if somebody comes with a real good story, a feel good connection, you will want to be connected with them. So that means your network is your greatest asset. All right? So the better you get at networking or presenting yourself, the better your chances are for your business survival. I mentioned a little bit earlier on if you're following any of my posts I said if you have FOSO F O S O which means the fear of standing out you will soon become a fossil Michelle Cagley how's it going it's been a while thanks for tuning in Do you know what I mean So there's a there's a lot of reasons why some businesses are failing is because first of all they are a lone ranger and they they have no people skills or the skills to actually bring other people in order to help them you know people are the reason why businesses grow first is the clients and the people that are working within that business and the people that are helping to spread the word good things happen when you actually expose those unique talents and give other people unique abilities all right So whether you're working for yourself or whether you're aspiring or you know or you just want to advance in whatever career you're doing right now you will accomplish far more in less time if you've got the right people in your life. Yeah? And like what Mike was saying um you know that give us that African wisdom. It's not an African thing. If you want to go fast, go alone. But if you really want to gain momentum, depth and 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 sentiment within people, go together. Like I spoke about yesterday, Martin Luther King, 
he had a dream to make um you know uh, freedom for the rest of america but he wouldn't be able to have done it by himself there's people around him. There's a network of people. He built together a strong team that made the message spread. Back in that time, you know, they didn't have social media. They didn't have Twitter to, to, to put it out, um, you know, to put out such a big message. But 250,000 people converged at Lincoln Park. Do you know what I mean? Um, Who's this now? Says, uh, oh, Mike Moore says, I've heard a lot about the story lately, the experience and whatnot. I love it. Gary V says, create a show art um, of your business. Well, pretty much. I, I don't know where, where that is relating to. Okay. But uh, at the end of the day, you want to make sure you're consistently building relationships every single time. Look, Moroni, how's it going, my man? You know, but obviously... Relationships involve people and people they're not like dogs or cats dogs You can just scratch their tummy and then they're oh, yeah, yeah, they have a good time People are a different breed So you've got to understand people in order for you to be successful in business And that's where the problem is building relationships. It takes time But with the kind of person we've created out of ourselves these days guess what we want instant gratification That's not gonna help you You know and sometimes people don't want to, you know, really connect with other people because they don't find it productive. Of course, there's no ROI. There's no immediate ROI from shaking hands. There's no immediate ROI from kissing babies. But people talk about that more than your automated funnels. How many times have you been to a, uh, um, you know, to, to, to a barbecue and people are like, oh, I went into Luke's funnel and uh, yeah, I found this trip uh, message in there. It was really good. Or do they say Luke is a good guy or Luke is a bad guy? Because we're dealing with humans. We're not dealing with deadlines or with expectations or something like that. And guess what? Getting to know other people, it costs a lot of money, time and effort. And if you're not doing any of those it's not going to give you, a, you know, you, you're not going to enjoy it. But you're going to need mentors around you. You're going to need the right people that will connect you to your clients. So as your commitments are growing, you know, and your workload increases, it's really tempting to stick to those you know. What if those you know are the best kind of people? So it has to be your mission, your prerogative to make sure that you're surrounding yourself with the best kind of people. Because people do business with those they know, like, and trust. You know, no matter how good your funnel is, no matter how good your landing page is, if people don't know who you are, you haven't created a relationship with them, they're not going to buy nothing from you. Jack Diddley. That's the reason why all these old horses in, in marketing are failing, because they were so used to the whole automation, because used to bees don't make honey anymore. Like anything in life, if your network is not growing, it's dying. When was the last time you reached out to somebody or a client or somebody who's actually paying you money in order for you to enjoy the lifestyle that you're leading? I put up a status a little bit earlier on and I was like, yes, hoping that all my clients are having a fantastic day. You know what? Just touch base with them, you know, subtly once in a while like that. You know, because if you're not doing that, somebody else is grabbing your client by the, in the words of Trump. So, you know, even if you're not in the market for new clients or relationships, just fostering the ones that you have, make that a priority of your day. Because if you're not doing it, somebody else is. It's just like in relationships. If you're married to somebody and you stop maybe doing date night or you stop, you know, connecting with them or nurturing that relationship, do, do you think they would stay? No, they won't. Somebody would start smiling at them and all of a sudden they start working late and before you know it, they're gone you know so you know because business mirrors the rest of the world don't think that what you're doing as a business person you will take off the uniform and then walk into um you know life you still have to deal with people a more fruitful personal life around the corner is you know you personally building relationships with every person that you meet day in and day out so it could be your clients, it could be your suppliers, it could be the people that are, you know, moving your word. Do you know? So consider what I have started calling relationship staking. 
into your daily habits. Think of, you know, building relationship every single day with intention. Where you spend time actually growing your current relationships and, and fostering the new ones. And it only takes about 10 minutes a day. Do you know what I mean? So this is how I do it every single day when I wake up. I reach out to 10 new people on Facebook. I reach out to 10 new people on uh, LinkedIn. And if they respond back to me, if they have got a good enough title, I invite them to be on my show. Or I invite them to create something with them. That way you've already offered. Because if you lead with value, what is in it for the other person to want to commit or to connect with you? All right. So you want to make sure that you are also giving value in order to connect with other people there. You know? And if you've got LinkedIn, I mean, obviously, we're just talking about Facebook. If you've got LinkedIn and you don't have yet another job, stop making your LinkedIn into a resume. Turn that LinkedIn into a sales letter so that whenever you reach out to people, um, just in case they don't respond at that particular time, if they then come to view your profile, they're already being sold on what it is that you do and the value that you offer. So this is how you do it. Begin committing at least 10 minutes a day just to grow your network. Pencil it in your calendar if you have to. Do you know what I mean? And then make a list of the skills or anything of value that you already can bring to the relationship. What can you bring to a relationship? All right. Ansley says you do that well. Sorry, I haven't been seeing the... The comments, because um, I forgot to scroll up, but I will catch you guys up as soon as I finish. All right, so you want to make a, a list of the skills that you, 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 you bring to the table. What skills do people actually pay you for? Are you a leader? Are you a, a, a strong coach? Are you a mentor? You know? It might feel silly, you know, because, yeah, you think you're too cool for school to apply this in your personal life. But there's a really good question that you need to ask yourself. What do I bring to the table? What do people actually pay you for? What am I known for? That's what you lead with. All right. So you want to take some time and make sure you actually write that down. Find out people that um, or names of people that are currently in your network that you can provide that service to. And then you want to sort of maybe categorize that, that network into like sort of groups, um, you know, differentiate your clients, your friends, your family, your colleagues, and people that are your mentors or people that you learn from. All right. Ton Kuzma. Thank you so much for tuning in, my friend. All right. You might also take, you know, notes um, about who have you learned from lately? And then just pass them a message and say, hey, listen, buddy, I learned this from you. Thank you for, um, you know, uh, passing this on to us. Thank you for the value. People appreciate that. Now, um, Ansley says, I like that question. What can I bring to the table to help others? Exactly. That's the thing that I ask myself every single day. What am I bringing to the table and what can people pay me for today? Because if you're not clear on that, how is the other person going to understand what you do? You know? So once you identify all these people, you know, there's usually three archetypes. There's the mentor, there's the friend, and then there's a the client. All right? F schedule some time that every six months or every two months you reach out to these people. And find out where can you find these people and what skills do you actually possess that are beneficial to what they're looking for or what they're currently doing. Jamie says, I feel like I have a very attractive personality. People tend to become fully engaged easily. It's powerful. That's good to know. Teresa McIntyre, thank you so much for tuning in. So this is something that you can do the first 10 minutes that you wake up. Reach out to people that you're going to want in your business, in your life, etc., etc. Because nobody's going to know what you have in your garage until you let the, 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 the market know. All right? Right now, we've got stuff that is hanging out in our garage. Maybe somebody could use that. But we're not advertising it. We've got books or we've got, you know, solutions that we can just give off to other people to enhance the relationships we have with them. Michael Darcel, thank you so much for tuning in, my friend. You know, and it's simple. You, you can use Facebook. 
Or what I do every single day is when I see somebody who's been following me or somebody who's been doing something when it's their birthday, just a simple video. Hey buddy, how's it going? Prosper here, it's your birthday. Enjoy the rest of your day. You know how far that message goes? Like way is far. You know, or you could just simply send them a text message because Facebook has got everybody's information. Or just put them, you know, you know, or just email people randomly that are on your list without trying to sell them anything. And and I want to tell you something. Don't be that guy that just checks in. You're not you're not their doctor, so you can't just check in with people. You can't just stop touching base with people. Connect. And the more you connect, the more relationships you create, and the more superpowers that you create off of yourself, and you become indispensable. You know? Don't be that random guy that just sends out cold emails asking people what is your biggest problem. Because you're not paying attention, that's why you don't know what their problem is. Spend just 10 minutes trying to reach out to people that are going to be paying you later. And that will pay off. So can you imagine every single day you take out 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes of all the 24 hours and you tell me you don't have time. Then maybe you don't know how to manage your time and you're not supposed to be in business. All right. So, you know, instead of just scrolling through your Facebook, looking for drama and looking for, you know, fighting with people, why not really connect? Why not find out? Why not find out what makes people tick? You know, I got sold on a on a big photo shoot that's going to cost us a lot of money because somebody just mentioned that my daughter is beautiful. And I was like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah oh, I know. And then she's like, yeah, I want to extenuate that beauty of your family. And you know what I mean? Because she took time to research what our family was like. And I gave her attention. Now, can you imagine how many of the activities that you're letting go just because you are only anticipating that people will watch your stuff, comment on your stuff, or share your stuff? Kim Smith Nelson, how's it going? Jamie says, I totally live by that. It's not about the what, it's about the why. Start with why. Why should people pay attention to you instead of Sally down the road? You know, ask questions that matter to people. And don't be in a rush to want to know people as soon as you get connected to them. You know, people always know when you're being straight or if you're being a phony with them. Do you know what I mean? Because, you know, the, the, the language is different. You know, so just because you, you know, just because you can send out maybe 50 text messages in 10 minutes, it doesn't mean that you should. One might be just more than enough if it is to the right person. Can you imagine if you actually send me a message and be like, hey, Prosper, can you help me create a business that's profitable and enjoyable? What do I do? I'll send you a link to my calendar because you know why you've taken, you know, your time to actually acknowledge who I am and what I do and how I can help you. Stephen Sidden says that's one fine uh, specific niche where they are paying you for what you know, give it away and end up selling them as we talked about today. Oh, yes, we had a chat earlier on. And look at this, me and Steven Sidden, we've got this networking, this relationship that we have. We haven't even met, but I feel like he's my brother because I just wake up and we start talking. Do you have people within your network that you can just pick up the phone and just start talking to them? Because the people around us don't understand all about entrepreneurship. The people that are around us, they don't understand what it means. My wife doesn't understand why I'm yelling in front of a camera right now. Instead of going to look after our little girl, because I'm trying to network and I'm trying to put food on the table. And it just takes me 30 minutes a day. Now, can you imagine in all the 24 hours, don't you have 10 minutes to just link up to people and commit and just really get to know just one single person? Because one single person can change your life. It only takes one single person. It's not going to take hundreds of people or thousands or, or a whole group. Just one person can change your life. When was the last time you sent out a handwritten card to your clients or something like that? That just shows your emotional labor and that you have been viscerally invested in what you're giving out. Yes, we can connect automatically online like this, etc., etc. But are we really connecting? 
Are we really, really connecting with the people that we can actually depend on them? Because the, the people that you normally hang around with are the people that will then determine your net worth. And that's viscerally true. You know? So, find out the people that you really, really need to reach out to. Find out how many people deserve a thank you from you because they've been paying you a lot of money and now you're affording this lifestyle. Find out who those people are and just reach out to them and be like, Hey, Sally, thank you so much for making sure the checks are on time. What can I do more for you? Sally will feel that they're being acknowledged and they will say, Whoa, do you have any new services? Of course we do. Could you make your employees day by just showing them that you notice that you care? Do you know what I mean? So just use that 10 minutes to really start looking at your relationships. Who do you need to be in touch with today that will put you in a different level? Even if you don't see the return of investment right about now, it will compound. Because you've made that person, you know, you know, you know, um, have a better day. And Jamie says, people have interesting stories. Talk to a senior for half an hour and you can change the whole week. Or they can change your career too. Absolutely. And this is, this is something that people that are in the long term play and people that are actually going to be successful. You know, people that are going to be successful are the people that really invest in their relationships. Successful people seek out relationships. And people that are not successful seek out transactions. Do you know what I mean? Tom Boyd says, uh, Robert Boca reached out to me. I appreciated that. Exactly. And Stephen said, I was thinking that too. Uh, send out thanks to all the clients this year and it will pay tenfold. Of course. Because your competition is not doing that. And like I was saying, if you're in this to win, you know, what long term, what high impact activities could you invest your time and energy into the next coming months? Right now, every single day, I'm doing four or five different um, uh, shows with people. We're all giving value and those videos are being repeated over and over and over and over again. And we've, I don't want to lie, you know, my bottom line has actually sort of increased after doing those shows. It's these lives, it's these shows. And people like Alana Joins was just tuning in. She was on my show yesterday, but we've already established a relationship where we can, you know, you know, work together if possible. And Esther says, invest in relationships. Absolutely. That's what we're talking about. You've got 10 minutes in your day to avoid drama. Use it to invest in, rela in relationships. Spend a few minutes in your relationship stacking, you know, usually the first time you wake up because that's when you're fresh and that's when you're loving and you're really, really giving. Schedule activities with people that are in your network. Coffee dates. Meet people in person. Don't just be yet another business card. You know, don't be yet another handshake. Don't be yet another hug and a kiss and, oh, so what are you doing? You know? You could actually, you know, schedule out maybe if you live in a city or something. Make Friday afternoon maybe your your dates, you know, times with your clients, with people that are around you. Connect. Behind the screen here is a person with feelings, with blood, with a family, with hopes and dreams. That I really want to connect and make sure that their business is profitable and enjoyable. Right now, I'm giving you a virtual high five. Type the number one if you gave me a virtual high five back. Because I want to create an environment where everybody around us gets to know who you are, what you do. Because a lot of people, a lot of businesses go out of business because first of all, they're a lone ranger. And second of all, nobody knows who they are or what they do. Guys, the quality of your life can be measured by the quality of your relationships. It is a prerequisite, you know, that, 
you know, the quality is, is consistent effort all over for a long period of time. You can't afford to be depressed if you've got Facebook. There's always somebody to talk to. Play the long game. And I want you guys to start connecting. Everybody who watches these videos every single day, go through everybody who commented. Put a like on their, on, on their, on their, on their comment. Appreciate them because you know what? You guys are family now. You guys know the same things. You guys are understanding each other because you're watching and doing the same thing even if you are in different parts of the world. How good would it be if we could all meet in one place and actually hug it out? If it wasn't already apparent, I want to leave you with this disclaimer. Building a relationship is not about what you can extort from somebody else. What are you giving? All right. The goal of relationship staking or building relationships is just a simple vehicle for you to actually start spreading your talent, start spreading your gifts. That's a small chunk of time every single day, 10 minutes where you put out your authentic, honest self to others. That's all you need. And it's a way to become intentional about who is in your life and why are they actually in there at any given moment. Because you've got a choice about your clients. You can't work with people you don't like. So if you can't babysit your clients' kids, why are you working with them? If they can't babysit your kids, why are you working with them? Not, not exactly in those words. I mean, there's dangerous people out there. But I'm just saying. If you don't have those relationships with people that you're taking money off of, it's not going to last. All right? So it's just 10 minutes of your day. You're not hard selling. You're not lying. You're not being selfish. It's just an initiative that will be remembered the most by those people because first impressions matter. People remember how you made them feel instead of what you told them. So if you reach out to somebody and they're having a bad day, guess what they're going to remember? Because they're going to know you cared enough about their goals, their missions, and their dreams. You know? That might be the most important thing I've said in this whole entire thing. It's your responsibility to grow the relationships that you want. The clients that you want, the, the, the investors that you want, the supporters that you want for your business. Don't let people in your personal life that fall through cracks just because, you know, they, they haven't reached out. Somebody else out there is also fishing in your pond. Chances are they're sitting on the other side making excuses about their lack of time and resources. The same ones that you are and then it, it kills the relationship. You've got a lot of value to offer. Just say hi. That's all you need to make somebody's day better. How are you doing? Thank you for watching this show with me today. I absolutely appreciate you. You know? And look, man, how's it going, brother? You definitely lead by example. I love the words you speak, bro, and the actions you leave. Exactly, Esther. We're family. You guys are like my family. You know? After all, there isn't much in life that is more important than the people that you're actually spending time with. We're here to live, we're here to learn, and we're here to contribute to your part. Some people can't even live. Some people can't even learn. No one is even contributing. Because we are all waiting for the other person to do it for us. How about if you reach out 10 minutes a day? Can you all type in 10 minutes? Everybody that's watching this right now, just commit to 10 minutes a day for the next one week. Please type in the words 10 minutes before we go. Just jumpstart your personal transformation and really commit and say, at least I will take 10 minutes a day to actually be authentic. To, to not lie to people, to not be selfish, and to bring out just the authenticity on my whole life. Sally says, I love your passion and courage. Thank you for being that for the world. Thank you so much, Sally. Just type in 10 minutes 
and commit that 10 minutes a single day, you will reach out to people where you're going to be authentic. And you will notice how that will change your life. Type in 10 minutes. In the meantime, I hope you will also reach out to me and thank me for this video and share this video with other people as well. All right. Bye for now.